Now to those HISD bus drivers who were upset with the district after working during last week's storm. They're saying the district made the wrong decision to keep schools open and put not only their lives, but students' lives at risk, too. Our Bill Barajas is live in Northwest Houston with more of their message. Bill. Well, bus drivers and union officials said a decision to not cancel classes put students and employees in a bad situation, and now they want answers. I sent the... Uh, uh, a letter to the superintendent and asked her why did they didn't close the school on Thursday. I never did get a response back from them. Rita Thomas says the silence on HISD's part speaks volumes. Because they know they should have closed those, closed HISD down on Thursday. Thomas, the president of the educational support personnel, believes the district's decision, or lack thereof, put students, drivers, teachers, and countless other employees in harm's way. Awa Bacon is one of those drivers. She was given the task to navigate floodwaters and get students home safely. Yes, they were in the, in, in the bus and said, oh, Miss Bacon, uh, we're going to drown. We're going we gonna to be flooded in. Are you scared? Because I'm scared. Gloria Weatherspoon has been driving for 15 years. She says she was having to make special arrangements to get some kids home. And one grandmother was really grateful for me, for me to meet her to get her grandkids. We reached out to the district about the decision-making process. They referred us to a statement released last week. This process includes numerous conference calls between the interim superintendent and the National Weather Service, Houston Transtar, and other city, county, and emergency management agency officials, as well as other school district superintendents. The district went on to say that the weather event took a turn that was unforeseen and that student safety is a priority. And it's unclear if any changes will be made to prevent this from happening in the future. The bus drivers we spoke to say they hope that at least it's discussed. Live from HISD, Bill Barajas, KPRC, Channel 2 News.